Hey YouTube is a newly rebranded to Geeker in here, and today I'm talking about the brilliance of Yushikage Kira from Hirohiko Araki's manga epic Jojo's Bizarre Adventure and its fourth part, Diamond is Unbreakable. So what makes a perfect character? Well there's no single definition of the word perfect, but it is said to be as with few flaws as possible while attaining so many positive aspects. So what makes a perfect character for me? That is a very good question. In my opinion, a perfect character needs to have a level of charisma, that is balanced by a serious name, serious personality, and discovering this kind of character arc. Whether it's a positive, negative, or a flatline character arc. A positive character arc is where the character is unequipped to resolve the struggle, and it isn't until their struggle's conflict pushes them into action that this will begin to change. This boils down down to them having to slowly deny the lie that they've been leaving the whole time. And this is what I believe Yoshikage Kira's character falls under. He slowly learns to, learns to deny the lie he's, he's been with the whole time, well, sort of, and you'll understand later, or if you've already seen part four. So we're introduced to Yoshikage Kira in chapter 334 of the manga and episode 12 of the anime. And from the start, Araki was a curveball at us. As before this, we are expecting a regular whodunit kind of story, but the viewer have just as much knowledge as the cast, and so would have to piece it together as we went along with the story. But Araki being absolute madman, and he is, he's honest, and Araki, he's just, he's crazy in my opinion. He instead decides to show us a man driving along with a woman beside him. The way he strokes and caresses this woman's hand makes us believe he's just with a partner, a girlfriend. But when the camera pans out, we see a much more darker, grim picture. The hand has no bully. It's been with a cold of his hand for the entire time. This to me is a beautiful power of introduction as it not only now gives us the viewer buckets full of dramatic irony, but it also sets the seriousness of Yoshi Yoshikaga Kira immediately how sadistic he is. Now you might be wondering why I'm not talking about the speech to Shigechi. It's because I'm making a video on the character just because it's the best scene in Jojo's. Anyway, let's look at it. I'm just going to go to the story. Jojo and Koichi vs. Sheer Heart Attack Fight. And this entire section is perfect gems of everything that has been established in the past. More because the lie that Kira is believing has been ruined, as a constant flow of attention has been drawn to him. Sometimes from the moment Echo's Act 3 freezes Sheer Heart Attack, the man who wants to live a quiet life can no longer live this life as he's been cornered. So, what does he do? He goes to remove the monster disrupting his life so he can go back to it. Well, what happens next is honestly as close to perfection anything can be. Koichi exposes Kira and calls her bluff. This may sound simple, but on a moral, fundamental level, this can destroy a person even if you best them physically. This is exactly what happens between Koichi and Kira. After this we get back. After this we see Kira absolutely demolished by Jojo. And once Josuke and Kiyasu arrive, we get this again. Josuke Josuke heals the gap, and without asking if he's a doctor, Kira has to be healed as well. But Josuke calls an outpost and confirms that he is a serial killer in Mordor. After, after this, as we all know, he steals the face of Kosaku Kawajiri and goes into hiding and tries to fit into his lifestyle. And this is where I think the character arc completes and kind of finishes as this, this, after. He turns into a negative character arc, he believes his lie again, ultimately is defeated. By simply trying to fit into Kasaku's life, he trying to and act like he does, not only does he make a life of Kawa Jilly's battle, but also he gets to live as kind of life he wanted. His hubris is gone, as it's no longer a priority of his. Well, this is until he's struck by the hammer rope again, in his case, he's the bomb. The dust. It's the acquiring of bites the dust. It's the ego. 
and he becomes more conscious of his actions. He doesn't want to Eventually, he outs himself at the exact moment for Josuke to intercept and they have their brawl and Kira ultimately loses and is sent to hell. So in short, Kira is the perfect foil to Josuke, not only in character but in standability. They are two sides of the same coin, both each other's dramatic foil, the yin and the yang. They are each other's opposites. That's all for today's video, and as for the next video, honestly, who knows? If you enjoyed, please leave a like. And thank you so much for watching.